Hi everybody, some of you may have seen uh, my recent videos about uh, a new strap that I got and that will be the Peak Design um, leash and the Peak Design cuff and that got me to think about straps and maybe I can give you some information as with all of my videos the information that I give you will reflect my own personal perspective, point of view, uh, way of using things, uh, etc. So, um, but since I have been going through a ton of straps, and really, I mean, there's, uh, let me just show you. These are the straps, or some of the straps that I've been going through in the last few years, and um, in the pursuit of the perfect strap. So. I don't know if I found it, but let me just go through a few of the of the straps that I have that I have used and that in some cases I stopped using for various different reasons. So just as an anecdote, this is a, an original Nikon strap. Uh, this one was made for film cameras. You have two hoops here where you put in your spare film cartridges and it's a beautiful color, it's uh, fantastic, and sometimes actually I even use it just to, you know, provoke people <laughs> and comments. Um, but this is not the type of strap that I want to talk about. I want to talk about uh, non-OEM uh, straps that you buy aftermarket and that are supposed to deliver you an additional service or an additional level of quality, a superior level of quality compared to the ones that you get with your camera because basically with every camera you buy you will get a strap. Uh, by now I don't even unpack the original straps anymore because I have several other straps that cover the um, my needs. So first of all I would like to talk about the types of cameras that I use, that some of you may be using and uh, compare, well categorizing them in in types so you have the the DSLR camera or SLR camera that may be so it's a rather bulky and heavy camera uh, even though this one is not even in the top uh, range of, of heavy cameras it's it's actually a quite a light camera but in this in this case you will eventually add a lens and uh, actually let me go and grab a lens I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I wanted to get one of the smaller lenses that I have to show you um, a specific situation in which a specific kind of strap will actually make sense. Um, a strap that maybe in other uh, contexts I will tell you is not the perfect or the ideal one. So this is a Sigma 50 to 500 millimeter lens for my Nikon cameras. And with this one, a new, uh, another situation, uh, an, another situation will appear, and that will be when you connect the lens to the strap and not the camera. In this case, actually, these uh, sling straps, like this is um, a Sun Sniper strap. Actually, this is one. This was my first aftermarket strap that I got because being a little bit paranoid I got I even got the one with the steel core inside the the strap and it slides freely it's pretty complicated to adjust because you have this velcro thing on the padding that you have to remove then you have to re to adjust the size and then you close the velcro again this is pretty stiff it's it makes it comfortable because to carry it it's actually quite good but it's not the the best strap to to use for example if you're using a smaller camera so let me get back to the types of cameras that I would like to talk about we have the DSLR that I've showed you then we have let's say heavy system cameras or mirrorless cameras like the Leica then we have more compact system cameras like the Sony a7, a7R, and then we have compact cameras like the Ricoh GR. Uh, 
So we have a, a wide range of bulks and weights uh, of cameras or systems that you will connect to your strap. Now let's stick to the DSLR. In that case, probably these uh, sling straps like the Sun Sniper or then I, I went over to the Black Rapid and I like this one better because even though it doesn't have the, the steel core, it's a little bit, you know, it's softer, it's, um, it's not as stiff as the other one. Then it has these sliding uh, blocks that you can set, for example, if you want to carry the camera. Let me just show you, for example, in a situation like I'm using this lens, I will connect the lens to the strap and then connect the camera and I will carry it like this and this is actually a good solution because if you can attach the camera it will be pretty much balanced on your side easy to grip and um, and that's not a bad a solution uh, this these straps basically all the straps technically in in as far as the specifications go will keep well, will keep up with any weight that you can attach to them um, in a normal situation, even even a heavy uh, uh, lens like this. But nevertheless, um, it's a very specific way of carrying it, of using it, um, and it's always there and it's not very flexible. So um, if you won't want for, for a certain reason to carry it around your neck, you cannot with these, or, or basically you cannot with these sling straps. So the sling straps have their specific uses and um, are not really ideal in my perspective for lighter or smaller camera setups because uh, the, the bulk of the strap will exceed the bulk of the camera usually. So these are limited to the use with DSLR uh, setups in my, in my personal opinion. Then we have different other concepts of straps for example this is a nice one i will um, write down the name i don't remember it now it's um it's made in germany and it has this very soft padding it's silicone inside leather and it it's to carry like this mostly and it has this shape that adapts to your neck and it's very comfortable if you're not using it. You can use it with a DSLR, but uh, you will usually use it with a, with a system camera. And it has um, these little snappy things that you open up like this. Let me show you. You open them up like this, you connect them to the camera, and then um, you close them and you carry the camera like this. However, even this one is kind of limited. If you want to extend it or shorten uh, the strap, it's you have to do it carefully. Um, it's a nice system. It's rather expensive because here in Europe, it's around, well, I think I, if I remember correctly, in the 100 euro range, so like, say $130. Uh, it's not really cheap and it's not very flexible if you want you, you can quite easily put it on on uh, another camera like disconnect it from a camera but for instance for cameras like this that have that don't have the the holes like the rings to connect them to uh, you cannot use this one so this one brings me to another series of straps that I bought these are Artisan and Artist, and they're very popular in the Leica community. They're elegant, they're exclusive. This one's made of silk and leather and everything. And this one that I bought, I don't wanna say it was a mistake, but I never really got like used to how this thing works. It's supposed to have this system that extends and shortens simply but i can tell you it's easy to do it like this but if you have it around your neck or if you have it around on, on your shoulder it's not that easy to work it um so these are kind of more of the 
elegant, exclusive kind of things. And in addition to that, they have these uh, split rings. Let me try and show you if I can make the camera focus on them. And the split rings have the problem that um, they're, they're really not easy to connect and disconnect. Uh, you can, not that my fingernails are a major issue for me, but it's really, it's really difficult to uh, change the camera. So you would have to take, take one, put it on a camera and leave it on. Uh, that's why I kind of stopped using these because I don't want to go around, if I go around with two cameras, like say two system cameras, one compact camera, um, I don't want to carry around three straps, ideally. I mean, the perfect situation would be you have one strap, uh, you can switch cameras very easily and, and good. And this led me to getting the um, Peak Design system. The Peak Design system is really a cool system uh, and you may have a look at the videos that I posted specifically for this system and I will go a little bit more in depth on the on the system. It's extremely modular. So it's based on these so-called anchors. Let me try and show them to you. These are the anchors for the for the peak design system. Uh, let me take a second to focus. Okay. Well, however, have a look at the other video. And then you have these straps and the, the, the anchors slide into these uh, holders and connect. And this is really, at first it may feel strange to have, for example, something like this cord holding your camera and you may feel it's it's not very robust but this is Kevlar so they use it for bulletproof vests or, or, or uh, you know applications like that so it should actually be able to um, take care of your camera and the good thing is you buy several of these and you connect them and you leave them connected to your different cameras um, for instance I put one on this on this camera I put one on this camera and I leave them like that um, and for the heavier cameras or the ones that I like to carry around my neck I put two on and leave them on and if they're really not too much in the way if you use the camera normally uh, but you can use them very flexibly because what you can do is you have for example this one this is the leash this is the the hand strap and you put it on like this you can actually have it like like connected and keep it on your arm and this is actually a cool thing because if you walk around with a camera bag and you have your cameras inside your bag you have your your strap on your hand and when you take one camera out of your bag you will just uh, open this up and take the camera out of your bag and connect it and you have this one then you say I want to change camera I take the Sony I disconnect this one and I connect the other camera and it's on like this and it's actually pretty robust it it, it, it carries more than enough weight even if it looks tiny but it's really it's really strong enough and then if you want to say use the this is the leash sorry that was the cuff this is the leash and say you want to carry it around your neck uh, you have it like this and then you take the camera with the two anchors connect them and you're ready to go and if you want to make it longer you really do it like this and you have a very like to carry uh, almost as a sling strap because this is extremely soft and and um, it glides very well so it doesn't really it's not rubberized in any way so 
it will not stay in a specific place but it moves around very easily and is quite comfortable to carry so this is why i like this system very much and if this experience stays positive like this this is probably going to be the solution that i'm going to use most of the time in addition to the standard like the anchors and the the uh, straps you get some other accessories for example these connectors for your uh, tripod mount and what you do with these is basically you can can connect two anchors to the one anchor for example if you want to carry it say you carry the hand strap and you want to connect it to the bottom of the camera you go like this you have your hand strap it's connected to the bottom of the camera it's as a security measure it's absolutely not in the way you could actually take this one off in this case but as I told you it's it's really not in the way in any way and then still you have an I mean I'm dropping uh, an eight nine ten thousand dollar setup here and it stays like this so this is one way of using it and it's it's actually so easy to disconnect even with one hand um, obviously if you have it connected like this the camera will not sit on a tripod and if you want to put it flat on the surface you will have to take this thing off but that's the same situation with other sling straps that are based like this that are built like this the alternative is you put two of these anchors inside the connector I don't know if it's called connector they have very specific names for these things but whatever and then what you can do is let me just show you I know this video is becoming a little bit long and I'm going into details but it's really I, I think I hope it will really show you how flexible this system is and then you have for example the leash and you connect these two anchors to the leash and you have um, basically a sling strap like the ones you use normally that connect to the bottom of the camera and you can move around it's not gliding on the on the strap itself but it's it's almost the same uh, feeling you get and what you could also do say you want to wear a camera like this a small one connect that only has one um, anchor what you do is and I try to get it right you have another anchor on this gliding part of the leash what you do is you extend it to the maximum then you connect the the anchor that is on the leash to the other side of the leash close it and you have basically a sling strap that has one free connector and you slide the anchor of the camera in and you can wear this one with one connect with one anchor on the leash as a sling strap okay so i'm quite enthusiastic about this system and um i really can recommend it and suggest you have a look at it sorry battery died just a few seconds before I was done but um, what I wanted to say is really have a look at the other videos I, I did about the uh, peak design solution it's really fantastic it's not expensive compared to many other systems and I'm not only talking about uh, silky fancy uh, Leica stuff I'm talking about regular sling straps so um, if you if I've been looking for a solution specifically for uh, system cameras and this for system cameras is definitely the best that I have found so far um, have a look at the other videos uh, if you have any questions, ask, uh, write it in the comment section and I would like, I would be very happy if you subscribe if you like. 
and if you want to see more uh, just um, have a look at my channel and uh, see you back here soon thanks bye bye